folks, I'm at uh, stage two on the stove install. Uh, what I've got in my, my tiny house, I've, I've got this uh, ugly brown paneling, uh, 1970s style, that makes the whole house feel smaller. I'm, I'm also reluctant to have the wood stove near this uh, wood paneling because I've read uh, from a number of sources that the wood paneling is actually full of chemicals that can be released uh, when being burned or, or when heated. So I really don't want that in the house. My eventual plan is to go to all sheetrock, but I'm gonna have to do it step by step. What I'm doing today is I'm actually gonna tear off this paneling and uh, see what's behind it and make a plan as far as further insulation or whatever I've got to do. Uh, next, after that, I'll be installing some concrete backer board uh, in the location of the stove and building a brick hearth for the stove. One thing that I already did a long time ago, uh, right now I'm standing at the entrance to the dining room from the living room. Uh, there were these two little half walls um, sort of making a division between the two rooms and they had those spindles going up from the half half wall to the ceiling. Uh, I didn't like that and I felt that that made the house seem even smaller and I tore those out already. Uh, they, one thing that's not pictured that you, you can't see in the frame right now is above me there are two half beams that come out uh, which those spindles went into. I really don't care for those in the way they look, uh, but haven't decided yet whether I'm going to cover them in sheetrock or completely pull them out and uh, just repair the ceiling in that area. I've also got to uh, pull back this funky old carpeting that's in this house and make a space for that backer board to go just onto the subfloor. One thing that I found out about combining my homesteading, home improvement, and prepping and trying to do it all at once is sort of like driving a pro project car. A lot of you know what I mean. You're having to drive that car every day to work and yet you're trying to fix it up. Uh, well, I've always got projects that overlap or projects that are sitting there halfway done because something else has become a priority. Uh, for this area of the house, what I want to do is I want to sheetrock the walls, put in the wood stove with a brick hearth, and I've got the wood sitting out in the carport to hardwood the floor and get rid of this nasty carpeting. Um, so this project where I'm going to start and stop is the main priority here is getting that wood stove in. To do that, I have to tear down at least this wall of paneling, uh, install the brick hearth, and get the stove put up. But in the meantime, my projects are overlapping, whereas I'm going to be pulling up the nasty carpeting. So that's sort of the beginnings of my hardwood project. Uh, additionally, since I am tearing out this wall, I'm going to continue all the way to the corner. And this section that won't be bricked, I'll go ahead and put in some sheetrock so I can get on my way with that project. Well, let's get started.
back to carpet and padding uh, didn't give me any surprises. Basically, now I can start to see the area of uh, where the hearth is going to go, which is basically where I'm standing. And it's going to go three foot outward from the wall, uh, four foot long, and eventually all the way up to the ceiling. Now, what I did discover is due to the break of the studs and the direction that they go, uh, my four foot area where I've got to screw in this uh, concrete board hits just here. There's no stud there. So what I'm going to have to do is pull back the plastic, uh, get one stud, and I'll nail it in side on uh, to create some dead wood right here. So, meaning something for me to screw that, that uh, concrete board into. So. Uh, right now I'm just at the stage of having to clean up some of this trash, nail in uh, nail heads that are sticking out, and uh, we'll move on from there. Anyway, thanks for your time. Stay safe.